the main question we were asking ourselves as I started this 24 hour Rory Gilmore readathon can I make Rory Gilmore proud? I'm so sorry, Rory. My name is Slate and welcome back to the Literary's Corner. So today I am doing a 24 hour readathon. If you've seen me do a 24 hour readathon in the past, you know how well I do them. So I'm doing the Rory Gilmore 24 hour readathon. It is hosted by Kara Foster and Carolyn Marie Reads and I'm really excited. <laughs> I will be reading a picture of Dorian Gray. There's also a lot of different fun non-reading-ish activities that are on a really cute bingo board. So first up we're gonna have coffee and breakfast, then we're gonna have some reading by a reading tree, and then I'm gonna check the bingo board again. <laughs> so I'm really excited, I think it's gonna be really fun, I've been wanting to do this for some time and I'm glad I can squeeze it in today, so we're gonna start off strong. Let's do this. <laughs> So it's about 11. I had my breakfast. I had my coffee. So that's already two things off the bingo board. And I'm about three or four chapters into uh, The Picture of Dorian Gray. I did read it um, the first time when I was in high school, but I actually never finished it. Don't tell my AP English teacher because I definitely got a really good grade on that essay even though I never actually read it. Oops. So, um, but I do remember actually enjoying the few chapters that I read in high school, so I decided to pick that up, so that is why I'm reading The Picture of Dorian Gray. And I really love the writing style, and the whole concept of it is really interesting. I remember all these parts about how this portrait of this man Dorian Gray is aging while he isn't and it's kind of like a really interesting topic and like there's a lot of interesting themes that are brought up so i haven't gotten too far i'm not exactly sure how it really pans out but it's really interesting and i haven't read a classic for a long time so even though i don't really typically read classics and i don't really get as enthralled in classics as other books or other people who read classics get enthralled I think it's a really great opportunity for me to read a classic, so I am really grateful that I'm participating in this readathon and I can read a classic for it. Once I finish this book, hopefully I'll be able to finish it today, but we shall see. I might not be able to complete it, but I am currently reading a cozy book and it's also a classic. I will not be able to complete the prompt for read three books. There's just no way. I just, I just can't. <laughs> Um, I might be able to finish a graphic novel um, or comic book because I do have an e-arc of Beast Boy from Teen Titans that I have to read before I think Tuesday so I might read that today as well but we'll just see how far we can get. Then I also will be watching an episode of Gimel Girls later on today and I'm going to be listening to some music while I'm reading so that's another thing off the bingo board so I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling solid. Hopefully I'll be able to finish the classic. I am reading a lot slower than I would typically and I already am a slow reader so I really hope I'll be able to finish it today. Also I'm making plum jam <laughs> today with the people that I'm staying with so I am hopeful and optimistic. So deep in you I'm blinded by Try. 
dreams will pick you up I just wanna make it right I know all about the trouble So we could say that I'm letting Rory Gilmore down Or we could say that she's immensely proud of me These are our two options First off, I do want to say that I am <laughs> like 30 or 40 percent into the picture of dorian gray it's it's a classic so it's taking me a lot longer to read also yesterday i made jam and not just i made jam so i made plum jam with the family friends that i'm staying with um we also made see what this is see what this is fruit leather we made fruit leather blackberry fruit leather and it actually tastes really good like it's really good i love it so you might be like soleil what the hell you're wearing different clothes this looks like a different day soleil this is a 24 hour readathon what are you doing so here's the thing there are two ways to do a 24 hour readathon either you stay up an entire evening and read for 24 hours straight. I've tried this before. I will one day try it again, but right now I'm in a bit of a, a, a um, moving, weird, stressful situation that I won't get into too much, but I don't have the emotional capacity to do that right now. <laughs> Staying up for an entire night is something I rarely do. I've done it once or twice before, and it's, it's something you wanna see me the day after. It's a disaster. So the other way to do a 24 hour readathon is to do 12 hours of reading and then the next day do another 12 hours of reading. So that is what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if I'm doing this wrong. I'm so sorry, Rory. I feel like I am betraying your memory by failing this, but it's fine because we're going to do our best. We're going to try hard. We're going to work hard and it's going to be fine. Also, I did make some delicious fruit leather and jam. So maybe she would be immensely proud that I'm, you know, branching out. Could be that. Could be that. There's also one more development. I need to read Beast Boy from the Teen Titans comic series before tomorrow because I'm pretty sure it comes out tomorrow. So, or not tomorrow. What day is it? No, it comes out in like two days. Okay. Oh, well, either way, I need to read it like soon because it comes out in a couple of days. So, um, <laughs> I'm also going to be reading that for the Rory 24 hour Gilmore girl readathon. Wait, Rory Gilmore 24 hour readathon. There we go. Because it's going to be cute and cozy and fun. And I think I really like Beast Boy. So we're doing that too. So The trips we had, our adventures, all the waterfalls and the wild waters, hanging off the cliffs, counting all the shadows, and now we're in the shadows, I want to feel your blue. I tried to do a really cool bun on top of my head and this is what we ended up with. I mean, you know, you try your best but you don't succeed. That's the message today. It looks like, it looks like a couple of birds were like, you know what, we're coming on tough times. This is the best we're going to work with. And then they gave up halfway through because they were like, you know what? This isn't working. Like, this isn't worth it. Anyways. <laughs> so, you're probably like Soleil. 
you did a 24 hour readathon with like 12 chunks, 12 and 12 over two days. And now you can clearly see this is a different day, so I'm wrapping up on a different day. But here's the thing. The main question we were asking ourselves as I started this 24 hour Rory Gilmore readathon, or Rory Gilmore 24 hour readathon, was can I make Rory Gilmore proud? And we need to answer this question honestly, and the answer is no. <laughs> I mean, but also maybe yes, because so instead of reading three books and like completing a book, that, yeah, that's right, I didn't even complete the one book I started. Instead of doing that, I did other activities and that included eating an entire sleeve of Oreos underneath a study tree, drinking a whole lot of coffee and making some plum jam so i think maybe we did we did succeed in our endeavor we just didn't make rory proud <laughs> and that's okay we can accept that <laughs> we can accept that we did slightly fail at the challenge but you know i tried i tried i did my best also to be fair i did on the last on the on the second half of my of my 24 hour readathon i did get some fun news <laughs> You may have heard me mention that I was going to cat sit for three weeks in Washington state so I could stay on the mainland for a little more extra time. You may have also heard that there are fires in California. So the people I was gonna cat sit for no longer are going to need a cat sitter. <laughs> so my plans had to change drastically. I had to then drive up all the way to my storage unit to make sure I could get all my suitcases and get all my stuff because actually I'm flying back to Maui in a couple of days to semi-permanently, temporarily, and definitely move in with my parents. So good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, so I've been packing and doing all of that for the last couple of days. Look at all of that. Look at, look at all the suitcases all the suitcases so that's what i've been doing <laughs> so that kind of took over most of my brain space that otherwise would have been filled with classic literature sure that's the reason in sum thank you so much for watching me disappointing rory gilmore on a couple of levels <laughs> i tried i did my best yeah i definitely recommend you go see other people's attempts at the Rory Gilmore 24 hour readathon because I'm sure most people had a better success than I did. So this was hosted and created by Kara Foster and Carolyn Marie Reads. So I'll link all of their stuff below. They're super cool. I love their videos. They also have um, vlogs, I believe. Yeah, Kira definitely has a vlog. I think Carolyn might have a vlog coming out. So check those out. It's a good time. And I hope you maybe enjoyed this video, at least me making some plum jam, so that was exciting. <laughs> but please feel free to hit that like or subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me, and let me know if you participated. Let me know how it went in those comments, yeah. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye! You can really see the acne and the psoriasis working hard, huh? It's almost like I'm in a stressful world situation. Who would have thought?